Hey everyone, it's Owen here from OTEC and today I will be unboxing this Intel 600P SSD which is an NVMe SSD that fits in the M.2 form factor. So this is basically a fairly new SSD that has come to the market and it is one of the cheapest uh, M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD you can buy these days. So it is a really interesting choice for people that just wants fast storage for their um, OS boot drive but doesn't need high endurance since I'll get back to that later I'll show you and tell you about why that's not good of the about this SSD but yeah here let's just open the box it's nothing much basically it's just kind of like an OEM packaging of this SSD so you don't get a lot on the outside but we'll see what we get on the inside so here it is Ta-da! Seems like you do get the retail packaging, so yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. The usual Intel um, abstract box art, SSD 6, because it's series 600, I guess. And on the back, you got the specifications, I guess. 7 series, speed reinvented, pro series, and security manageability. 6 series, added boost for better response. So this is just, yeah. So this is basically just one of the, you can say, cheaper uh, SSDs you can buy for faster boot drive and also other usage that isn't too intensive from Intel. It's a 256GB variant and it comes with a 5 year warranty. Although like all SSDs, this is really limited to the endurance of the SSD itself which they rate. So if you cross that endurance, you don't get honored by the warranty. So yeah let's just take a look inside yep getting there okay this is harder than I thought for some reason so bear with me here it is there we go we got it open partly Okay, why is it so hard to open a seal? There we go, finally. Let's see what is inside of this box. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Of course you get another brown box. And also the user manual. Limited 5 year warranty. 2.5 inch and M.2 form factor installation instructions, although this is just an M.2 SSD. And on the back, we get the SSD itself. So let's take a look at that, shall we? Here it is. So, yeah, this is the Intel DLC memory. So it is an MLC, so it doesn't have the endurance of an MLC SSD. And it has the SMI. Uh, controller which has its own heat spreader so it shouldn't travel as much and you can see all the certifications at the bottom and yeah this it's really bare for an SSD I mean I guess that's what you expect from an M.2 SSD although I don't like the green color PCB since they'll definitely stick out in a PC build so I would have liked it if Intel made it black although this really isn't targeted for enthusiasts like I said it's more of a mainstream SSD for people that want to go M.2 but doesn't want to spend too much so yeah here it is it's small and it has four uh, NAND chips and three NAND chips and one DDR3 uh, RAM chip and the controller under this heat spreader so yeah that actually looks pretty cool I think instead of the usual bare silicon and now to get to why I said this SSD isn't really good if you're really needing to write a lot of data into the SSD since this has a really low endurance rating compared to the MLC uh, or 3D NAND SSDs from Samsung or even Patriot like the Patriot Hellfire so if you're a video editor and you need to constantly write files into the SSD this will die really fast if you're moving like a few like 
20 30 gigabytes per day or more so you should really get an MLC SSD but for the typical user and typical gamer which just needs this for the boot drive so mostly read operations this will be perfectly fine and it's a pretty fast SSD for that although the write speeds aren't that great so again another reason it's not good for write intensive operations but yeah that's pretty much it for this SSD so thank you for watching Hope you enjoyed the video and if you do please leave a like and please click subscribe to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching.